one card will be selected from a 52 card deck and we want the probability of selecting a king given that we know it's a hearts card. So the way to write this down would be big P parentheses and then we want the probability of a king given or often said given that which you represent by drawing a line that it's a hearts card. So we want the probability of selecting a king given that we know that it's a hearts card. There's a couple ways of doing this. Uh, method one is to use the formula. Method two is to do it very carefully. So here's a trick. Whatever you see here, hearts, is going to tell you what's on the bottom. So you know that there are 13 hearts cards. So you know it's going to be 13 on the bottom because you know it's a hearts. Normally in these card problems, you have 52 uh, because you have 52 cards in a deck. But here we're being told, we're given that it's a hearts card. So that reduces our sample size from 52 to 13. So now we only have 13 total possibilities. So from those 13 hearts cards, you might ask yourself, okay, how many are kings? Well, there's only one king, right? That's a heart, that's the king of hearts. So one way to pick a king. Again, you always do this bottom piece first. So you know it's a hearts card that tells you the number of hearts cards. And then up top, it's the number of ways to pick a king. So one over 13. And that's it.